Hello everyone, so this is our lesson for today about decimals and I'm going to discuss about the fundamental operations on decimals. We have the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, again, our objective for today is to add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals. And now let us define first what is decimal. Okay, a decimal is a fractional with a denominator of 10, 100, 1000, and so on. And it also needs a decimal point to separate the integral and fractional parts of a number. Okay, and now we're going to study on how to add decimal. We have an example number 1. Add 1 and 362 thousands to 1 and 4 Tens. Okay, so that is how to read the decimals. Okay, so we have some steps to follow on how to add decimals. Okay, we have 1.362 plus 1.4. Okay, so you will going to observe the decimal point of the given decimals okay so the decimal point must be aligned or must be on the same line now drag the point again it must be on the same line okay and then the next step is to add zero okay we have 1.4 it becomes 1.400 Okay, now 1.362 plus 1.400, okay, 2 plus 0 is 2, 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 4 is 7, and 1 plus 1 equals 2. Therefore, the sum of 1 and 362 thousands and 1 and 4 tenths is 2.762 or 2 and 762 thousands okay now let's proceed to the second example and our example is to add 3.6 to 0 0.4256 okay and now we have 3.6 plus 0 0.4256 Okay, so again, a point or the decimal point of the decimals must be a line. It must be on the same line. The next step is to add 0. We have 3.6, it becomes 3.6000. Okay, then we add 0 plus 6 equals 6, 0 plus 5 equals 5. 0 plus 2 is 2 and 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay, so we write 0 and then we carry 1. Then 1 plus 3 equals 4. Okay, therefore, the sum of 3.6 and 0 0.4256 is 4.0256. Six. So, that is how to add decimals. Okay, next, let's proceed to the number 3 example. Okay, and number 3, we have to add 8.12 to 4.7980. Okay, now we have 8.12 plus 4.7980. Okay, equals, again, you're going to observe the decimal points of the given decimals. Okay, decimal points must be aligned or it is on the same line. Then add 0, so it becomes 8.1200. 0, 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 8 is 8. 2 plus 9 is equal to 11. Okay, then we write 1 and then we have to carry 1. So therefore, we have 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 7 equals 9. Okay, and then 8 plus 4 equals 12. Okay, therefore, the sum of 8.12 and 4.7980 is 
is 12.9180. Okay, next, let's proceed to the next one, which is on how to subtract decimals. Okay, we have here an example number one. And our example, we have 8.467 minus 1.35. So, 8.467 minus 1.35, again, observe the decimal point, okay? So, the decimal point of the decimals must be aligned or must be in the same line, okay? And then, we're going to add 0 for 1.35, add 0, so we have 1.350. Then, we subtract 7 minus 0 is 7. 6 minus 5 is 1, 4 minus 3, 1, and 8 minus 1 is 7. Okay, so the answer is 7.117. So that is how to subtract decimals. Okay, next let's have another example, number 2. 4.17 minus 2.358. Okay, again, 4.17 minus 2.358. Again, okay, same steps. We're going to observe the given points or the decimal points of the given decimals. And it must be on the same line or it must be aligned. Okay, so the next, we're going to add 0 for uh, 4.17. Then add 0, so it becomes 4.170. And then we subtract. 0 plus 8 cannot be, so we borrow 10 from 7, so 7 it becomes 6, and 0 it becomes 10. Okay, so again 7 it becomes 6, then now 10 minus 8 is equal to 2, and then we have 6 minus 5 now is equal to 1. Okay, again 1 minus 3 is, uh, we can subtract, so we Borrow 10 from 4, so it becomes 11. Then, uh, 4, it becomes 3. Then, now we have 11 minus 3 is equal to 8. Then, now we have 3 minus 2 is 1. Therefore, um, we have 1.812 for the difference of the given decimals. Okay, and that is how to subtract decimals. Okay, so next, we're going to proceed to the multiplication of decimals. Okay, and this is the example number one. Multiply 0 0.04 by 1.2. 0 0.04 has two decimal places. We have 0 and 4. Okay, 1 and 2. Okay, we have only two decimal places, while 1.2 has one decimal place, okay? The decimal place is 2. It is only 1, okay? And then, uh, the expected answer must have three decimal places. Okay, and this is the solution. We have 0 0.04 times 1.2. Two. And then we multiply 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, then 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. And then the next one, we have 1 times 4 equals 4. 1 times 0 equals 0. Next, 1 times 0 is 0. Next, we add, uh, we bring down 8. And then 0 plus 4 equals 4. 0 plus 0 is 0. Then now we have 0. Okay, since we have three decimal places for the answer, then we're going to count 3. Okay, so now 1, we have two decimal places for 0 0.04 and one decimal place for 1.2. So we have 3. 1, 2, and 3. And now this is our decimal point okay so that is how to find the product of the given decimals okay we're going to add the decimal places of the given decimals for the answers okay so next 
Let's have the second example. And this is our example. We multiply 125 by 0 0.35. Okay, so 125 is a whole number. So it has no decimal places. 0 0.35 has two decimal places. We have 3 and 5. And we expect two decimal places for the answer. Okay, so now let's have the solution. We're going to multiply 125 times 0 0.35. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, we write 5 and then carry 2. The next 5 times 2 equals 10 plus 2 equals 12. Okay, then carry 1. So 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 equals 6. Okay, the next 3 times 5 equals 15. Then carry 1. Next 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 1. So we have 7. Okay, 3 times 1 equals 3. Okay, the next step is to add. Okay, now we have 5 or we bring down 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 6 plus 7 is 13. Okay, write 3 and then we carry 1. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. So now we have 4, 3, 7, 5 and then we're going to count the decimal places. We have 1 and 2. Okay, we have only 2. Therefore, uh, a answer must have 2 decimal places, 1 and 2. Okay, we're going to put the decimal point here. So, we have 43.75 for the product of 125 and 0.35. Okay, now let's proceed to the division of decimals. Okay, we calculate 3.2732 divided by 0.04. Okay, again, we're going to rewrite 3.2732 is the dividend and we have 0.04 for the divisor. Okay, then the next step is we're going to make the divisor a whole number. So, we now move the decimal point to places going to the right. So, now it becomes 4. And then same with the dividend, 1 and 2. So now it becomes 327.32 for the dividend and for the divisor we have full number 4. Okay, again we have 0 0.04, it becomes 4, it becomes full number. Okay, then the next step is to divide, okay? So the point on the dividend must be aligned on the quotient. Okay, now, so this is the point on the quotient. Okay, so the next step is to divide 32 divided by 4. The answer is 8. And 8 times 4 is 32. Then we subtract 32 minus 32 equals 0. And then the next step is to bring down 7. So 7 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, next, subtract 7 minus 4. The answer is 3. Okay, and then we bring down 3. So now we have 33. And 33 divided by 4, the answer is 8. And 8 times 4 is 32. Now, 33 minus 32, the answer is 1. The next, we bring down 2. Then uh, we have 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 minus 12 equals 0, okay? Therefore, the quotient is 81.83. So, that is how to divide decimals, okay? So, next, let's move on to the next example. We have 5.6482 divided by 1.24. Okay, we're going to rewrite. 5.6482 is the dividend and 1.24 is the divisor. Ok, 
Okay, to make it whole number, so we move two places going to the right side. So from the point, we have 1 and 2. Then, same with the dividend, we have to move the point 1 and 2. Then now it becomes... 564.82 divided by 1, 2, 4. And then we put the decimal point on the quotient aligned with the dividend. Okay? So now this is the point on the quotient. Then next we're going to divide 564 divided by 124. The answer is 4. 4 times 124 is 496. And then we subtract 564 minus 496. The answer is 68. Then the next step is to bring down 8. So now we have 688 divided by 124. The answer is 5. Then 5 times 124, we have 620. Next, subtract 688 minus 620. The answer is 68. And then, the next step is to bring down 2. Okay, so now we have 682 divided by 124 and the answer is 5. 5 times 124, the answer is 620. Then, we subtract 682 minus 620. The answer is... 62 and then we add 0 so we have now 62 bring down 0 it becomes 620 then 620 divided by 124 is 5 5 times 124 is 620 we subtract the answer is 0 and our quotient now is 4.555 Okay, and that is how to divide decimals. Okay, so that's all for now. And thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and then click playlist.